My name is Jackie Maloof. I'm a wife, I'm a mother, and I love great conversation. And I definitely have an opinion about what's going on in the world today. Shut the front door! Oh, and I have a really big mouth. So I put on way too much makeup and asked some really brilliant friends and experts whom I love and respect to do me a huge favor. To get together over a few bottles of wine and just throw down on some important... The financial downturn really means something individually to people. Controversial. We did not decide as a gay population we're going to have to gay marriage in 2004. Third Rail Conversations. The pain in the faces of my friends who are African American. Hold on, don't think because he was elected that racism is gone. I don't. It was a meeting of the minds like I never expected. What do you guys think about swine flu? Did you see the visual oh, H1N1? Oh, yeah, I'm like, so. how can you take a flu seriously when it's called Heine? That's exactly what it looked like. <laughs> and my mom was calling me from I Canada and she was saying, have you got Heine? I'm like, well, <laughs> yes, I have had two children. I've got plenty of Heine. But with a, this is kid crud or the swine flu remains to be seen. I think the head of the CDC should be a mother. I mean, this okay. guy, you know, Dr. Besser is yeah. kind of cute, yeah, right. but if you really want all of humanity to yeah. be safe, that should be in the hands of somebody who tells you to wash your hands after you wipe your bum. You know what I mean? Who knows? <laughs> who knows those exactly. things? Like, exactly. make it be a mom. How many people vaccinate their children who vaccinated? You guys vaccinated? How many people didn't vaccinate? I've done um, some. some. Are you scared of what's in those vaccines? Do I think about it? Yes. And I kind of believe in it, yes. I think that, that that whole system needs to get shaken up, especially in America where medicine has unfortunately become a business and no longer is a vocation. Mm -hmm. So I, I just hesitate to trust that stuff. I don't want there to be a polio outbreak either, but I have, I have family members with autism who were fine mm -hmm. before they were vaccinated, mm -hmm. and I just, I couldn't do it. I couldn't roll that die. This is a yeah. third that rail topic, have, but you guys. Takes... You guys said to me, when we stopped tape, it was like, you might not want to mention this the whole Gaza-Palestine thing. Yeah. I did not mean to offend at all, but I did call it Palestine. And you were saying, you know, Palestine doesn't, it's not, it's not recognized, it doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. this, this is a very hard uh, topic, Israel, and I appreciate that there are definitely people on both sides at fault and definitely people on both sides who want peace. I believe that all of those people need a voice and all of them have a right to exist. And it doesn't matter what we call them, a country by any other name. And I think anybody saying that anybody doesn't have a right to exist, whose land is it anyway, you know, which is like a great reality show. Whose land is it anyway? You know, with Greg, Greg Proust and Wayne Brady. They can sing about peas in the middle. Anyway, I digress. I'm just trying to bring a little levity to this. But back to Palestine, or Gaza, or whatever we're calling that region. So let the Palestinian people elect somebody who's willing to negotiate. But if we then bomb the universities do? and the hospitals and the schools, we're never going to have a society that can elect a person like that. We're never going to get a, we'll never have a fertile soil or a ground for that kind of good idea to grow out of. It's conversations like this without people walking away or getting in a huff that will actually help us grow through to that next stage. It's so important that it be given light because it's not gonna change if it's not.